Okay, streamers, we're going to be talking about counters today and how you can use them to integrate with your commands or your channel points on Mix It Up. <laughs> um, don't worry about that message on the screen. So, if you're new to Mix It Up, you're going to go to mixitupapp.com. You're going to click download and you're going to download Mix It Up onto your computer. So once you got this set up, uh, you're going to click on either new streamer if you're new to Mix It Up or if you're a returning user, you're going to log in with your streamer account. And then my, my thing should go away. If it doesn't go away, you just got to refresh the browser source. Okay, I just got to refresh the browser source. Give me, oh, nope, there it goes. <coughs> okay, so you can uh, you can do the counters uh, one of two ways. Uh, you can have a entire stream counter where you like you can count like your number of deaths, the number of times you say a certain word. Um, you can make it. You can really do a lot of creative things with this counter. So uh, let's do let's do a command one where it, it'll uh, it'll count how many like deaths you say you want to do. So we're gonna do a new command. We're gonna name it death death all right so chat triggers will be just death so what we can do is um so you do that and then uh we'll have a counter it has create or update okay so counter name will be death death and uh we'll update it'll be an update in the amount of one so or like plus plus one all right we could save to file you can reset on load so uh resetting on load what that does is every time um you close out and mix it up and uh, you open it up and you refresh the browser browser source it will um reset that counter so you could have a new death counter starting up like the next stream uh if you don't want to do that and you just want to keep the number of deaths going uh you could just t uh, toggle that off so, and uh, another thing that I like to do is I like to have a chat message pop up too. Uh, we'll add that and we'll say, um, even Steven, that's not my name, has died. I think it's, uh, I believe the command is death times i believe that's how it is and i usually like to send it as a streamer and then we can save this command so now that the command is saved and we can go and test it out in the chat and uh, we'll just go death even steven has died one times and then you, it'll just keep going up from there death i believe you could set a cooldown too on it if you really wanted to so you can e edit this, uh, the counter should be a cooldown. Oh yeah. Over here, up here, we got, um, the cooldown. So you could like, this is in seconds. So however many seconds you want, you don't want people spamming this and getting your death counter all messed up. You can do it that way. So now we're going to look at how to do a counter as a per user basis, which is something that I wanted to do with a counter. So we're gonna go to channel points. I have this set up as a channel point. So as on Facebook, I was a Facebook gaming streamer before I came to Twitch. Um, a lot of people like to like the stream. That was an alert that popped up, announced to everybody that they were in the stream. So instead, what I did was I made it my own thing and uh, now we can claim our daily taco. So <laughs> this, is, this is how that goes. And then on the in the chat, um, it says, thank you for claiming your daily taco, even Steven Gaming. You now have 15 tacos. And it keeps track of how many tacos that individual user has and how many times they came into the stream. So you can only do that one time per stream. Uh, I have, it set, have that set up through my channel point back on my Twitch page. And we'll look at that too. So let's just go to the channel points and I'll, uh, I'll show you guys exactly what I did. So I got this overlay. Uh, it was a free overlay from YouTube. Uh, it was copy a copyright free, something like that. Well, however you, you pronounce that term, terminology. Um, and I took it from YouTube. 
that's what those tacos were. And I just added a green screen effect to my alerts. Uh, so that way, that's how that goes. So uh, I made this full screen. That way the tacos can rain. It's raining tacos. Um, and then I added the sound. Uh, that was a, it's raining tacos music. My son, my kids were listening to this on, uh, I think it was like a TikTok video. And I'm like, I need that sound for my daily taco. Because it was just me saying, thank you for claiming your daily taco. And I, I would just have that as an alert. And I wanted this instead. So that's what, how I used that. Um, and the chat message here. Thank you for claiming your daily taco uh, and the command username and you now have user tacos tacos. So in order for it to do a per user um, counter, you need to have it as a consumable um, as a currency in a sense. Uh, so like essentially if I wanted to like do a giveaway and you needed to buy tickets with the tacos, you could do that. So, um, and I just do tacos, add to user, the amount of one. So every time you click that uh, channel point redeem, you now get one taco. And you can only do it once per stream. And that's that's just something that I like to do. Everybody is different. Everybody can get creative with this type of thing. Um, and that's that. So if you guys found this uh, useful, uh, consider giving me a follow on here over on Twitch. Um, yeah, we, we tend to have fun. It's even Steven Gaming over on Twitch. We have a, we have a blast. If you want to claim your daily taco, come right on over. Um, but yeah, if you found uh, this useful, let me know down in the comments below. And uh, if you want to see more, um, you know, mix it up uh, tutorials or any kind of tutorials regarding anything on streaming, please let me know down in the comments. Um, and yeah, I love talking about streaming with everybody in my Twitch chat, on the comments, so please give me your input. Um, yeah, I love you guys. Peace out. Maybe I'll see you in the streams.